what is up? Jay back again with another YouTube video. Check this out, guys. So I just got the gun. So, real quick, I want to show you guys the box. The box is where it came in. Ready? That's right. Another Smith and Wesson. Now, you know, I don't hate Smith and Wesson. I actually like, I like him. But this one gun, and you see right here, video that I did with you know the issue they have with that gun um so but that's a whole other video make sure you go and check it out make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up and while you're at it uh, make sure you go ahead and hit subscribe because we are uh trying to get a thousand subscribers okay so i applaud you for that in advance thank you very much for subscribing let's get into the video all right so here we have another nine millimeter um this is actually my second one that i own okay so it's not too bad uh, of course, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy more uh, because I don't know. I've always liked nine millimeters, right? Why not? So before I guys go ahead and show you what was in the box, I'm gonna show you guys what came out the box. That's right, a Smith and Wesson MP. This is not the 2.0. It's just a regular one. Just MP. So of course, it's uh, you know it's not loaded or anything like that. I always gotta do that. Show you guys. Even though, of course, I do check it. You know frequently just to look at it so but this gun it feels perfect it actually is it's a perfect fit um the handles handles great okay handles perfect um it did come with interchangeable handles for the grip it comes with, it comes with two i had the medium one uh this is the large and this is the small one i don't really see the difference honestly with them um, the only thing with the large one is that it does have the, what do you call it? The back, I guess the back grip for your, um, for your hand. I, I don't see the use for it. So, can't lose that one. Man, 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 the MP. I've heard about this gun before. Uh, I just didn't know, realize, I didn't realize how full size it is. It's not huge, but it's not small. It's kind of like your um, your military police type of gun. And it does say it right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Is it right there? Polymer frame, okay. The the rails, so you can kind of put a light on it, put a laser on it, which to be honest, I might do. So I know this gun's reliable, but I can't shoot it. I didn't get a chance to go to a shooting range because of the apocalypse. Anyways, so um, we got the iron sights right here. Now these sights are pretty nice. They're pretty good sights. Um, three dot sights right there. And I, I do like the iron sights. I, I do like it. The reason why is because I know a lot of people say, you know, oh, um, you know, polymer sights, they're not good. They don't look good, blah, blah, blah. And I've always ignored that until I got this gun. I, I kind of I was looking at it and I was comparing it to my uh, Smith and Wesson SD40 VE. Um, and you know, just looking at it, I'm like, okay, well, I can see why they say what they say. These do go down a little bit. The sights do go down. They kind of drop down a little bit, which isn't too bad. Um, but seeing how this gun does have a bigger rail for nine millimeter, and it's a full size. I'm pretty sure accuracy will not be an issue, especially for your boy because your boy has perfect aim. Now, as far as the trigger smooth it's not spongy like some guns uh, but it is smooth right uh, just the uh, safety is right there and trigger obviously you have to go ahead and put your finger kind of in the middle or below so it's gonna go ahead and uh, you know fire and you got the mag release right there bam okay it's not on both sides so you know it's not ambidextrous but i do shoot right-handed and luckily for me it is right there right in the thumb so i can go ahead and boop, empty up the magazines and load one up so let's go ahead and see what was in the box when I got it. Okay, so this is the, the notorious Smith & Wesson blue box. Um, obviously got the papers, don't even see that. Now this is everything that came with it. Uh, I like how simple they, they put it, it's not too much. Of course you got your lock. I'm gonna go ahead and lock your gun. But you do have a test round, so the gun is functional. It obviously does work. Uh, it does have an empty you know, bullet in it which I'm sure you guys don't want, really want to see, but in case if you do want to see, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys anyways. Right there. 
Okay. Empty bullet. Put that to the side. Paper, whatever. And you have your, um, looks like a little promo. Some marking stuff. And then you have your notorious safety and instruction manual. You can go ahead and see how the gun works, how it functions, all that fun stuff. Anyways, this is the most important part right here. Gun, and you have your back um, back grips right here too. Like, like I said, it came with so three in total. Um, they do change. I try to I try to uh, put put the the large one on, but to be honest, I think it's a little difficult to. I mean, you could still do it, but seeing how I guess it's like a little mechanism. You, it's a pin. You twist it, whatever. I didn't try to mess around with it. I don't know. It was a little difficult to be honest. I didn't want to break anything. But I like the gun how it is already anyway. So in here you have your notorious uh, magazines, okay? These did not come with bullets. I, had, I did have to purchase them, okay? If all guns came with bullets. These companies would be out of business. So no, that's not how it works. It, it's a 10 round magazine, comes with two for a total of 20 because 10 and 10 equals 20 for you guys who aren't that good at math. And these are the Hornady self def uh, critical defense, 135 grain. Yeah, 135 grain. And um, yeah, these will hurt, man. These are perfectly, uh, perfectly fine in my case, in my book. So yeah. So um, do I like the gun? Absolutely. Even though I didn't shoot it yet, it's still, it, it feels good. Um, I did see a lot, a lot of reviews on this. It is reliable, uh, especially if the military and you know law enforcement uses it. And overall, to be honest. I would give this gun, I mean, without shooting, I'd give it a, you know, nine out of 10. Um, to make it a 10, I do have to go ahead and shoot and see how it works because I could either make it a 10 or I could, you know, decrease it to like a three or two, you know, but yes, I did, I did, I did do my research. I do know what to look for when I buy firearms, pistols and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, this, this, this definitely feels good. I, I am used to the, the compact guns, but this is a full-size gun. You know, obviously a 10 round, uh, nine millimeter magazine, you know, uh, it does have its uh, strengths, right? So, so that's it right there for the Smith & Wesson MP. I did look at the 2.0s. Um, they're kind of the same, but you know, I, obviously I couldn't find one and I just thought, you know, when I just get the regular one, right? So. I don't know, I just, I just like how it looks, I like how it feels. Um, I think I'm in love, to be honest. So, no worries yet, nine millimeter. Um, I do want to make this my everyday carry. Obviously I can't because, you know, to be honest, I don't know how exactly how it shoots, but I might go ahead and risk it and, you know, just, just throw in the, the magazine and call it a day, you know, get a holster, which I'm still looking for. Um, you know, get a good holster and, you know, make this my EDC. So compared to what I have now, uh, the Ruger LC9, you'll see the difference. I see difference in, in size, um, difference in you know how much it holds. Um, okay, I don't know. So you got you know seven plus you know seven plus one, which is eight here, and then you got ten. You could make this 11 with one in the, in the chamber. So the more, the better. But in a self-defense case, um, you do better go with what you think is alive, but what you think you're comfortable with and what you think that you can handle when it does come to, you know, what it comes down to, you know, a little, uh, little firefight. So, so the mission is to look for a holster for this one um, and just carry it. And I already, I already know that this is, is the way I just do it, how it feels in the research that I've done. Um, it's reliable. Uh, I would say I would trust my life with it. So that goes to show you right there that, you know, Smith & Wesson is a really, really good brand. Anyways, this is Jimmy, uh, Guns & Trails. I'm signing out. Make sure, guys, that you go ahead and like the video. Um, make sure you go ahead and leave a comment what you think uh, a good EDC is. And also make sure you go ahead and subscribe because we are again on our way to getting 1,000 likes. That is the goal here. I need your help um, so we can go ahead and grow the channel and bring you guys more cool stuff like this. All right. Anyways, I'm out. Peace.